Hi, this is 365801 and this is day 4 of the 25 days of manga. Now, as I have said before, I'm reading things that I want to read or that I'm in the mood for, um, but I'm not disregarding the bingo board completely. I am having a wee look to see if anything corresponds. Um, but there have been a few recent new purchases that have entered into my collection that I'm eyeing up and I think I might go for one of them today. So I think I will be reading this one for the next, um, it's still got its plastic on, just because it's a new one and it's kind of like, ooh, and it is a Kuma publication, so maybe this will be, um, enough to melt, I don't know, <laughs> do I melt now? I'm an old Fujoshi, do I even melt? I like, read some sexy stuff, but I don't think I ever melt, let's see, let's see if this does, does it. <laughs> Now, as you can probably see from the thumbnail of this video, uh, this is the one that I read while enjoying a tasty or festive treat. <laughs> and the reason is, it is raining cats and dogs outside. I went to go to work this morning and I was absolutely soaked through. I had to have a shower when I got home. <sighs> I was so cold. And as I had to walk home from the train station, I was like, right, just go and get something nice from the shops. And I saw these. And I did actually eat this last year at Christmas time. It's called a puff mince pie. Now, some of you might not know what a mince pie is or mince meat pie, it's sometimes called. If you're in the UK, you'll, you'll know. You'll know. Um, a mince meat pie, it does not actually have mince in it. It used to back in like medieval period, but it doesn't now. Uh, it is spiced fruit and it's a bit like a very thick jam or chutney. Um, very sweet, full of sugar and fruit and spices. It basically covers the whole um, taste gamut of Christmas. You bite into one of these and it's basically like eating Christmas. Um, what I have in front of me though is actually a puff mince pie which means it's a puff pastry and instead of um, apple or uh, cherry uh, they've put mince um, meat in it instead and so it's very nice festive treat that I can enjoy while reading um, this title. Now, as you can see, the title is Can an Otaku Like Me Really Be an Idol by Wakoko Wako. And this is, as I said, a Kuma publication. Now, this is the first Kuma publication I have in my collection. I know there's a couple of other things and I will hopefully get them at some point. I will keep my eye out for a good price. Um, in Japanese, I don't know if I can say this, Doru ota no boku desu ga shinken ni idol mezashimasu. Um, so I'm kind of trying to practice my Japanese again. It's been a while. Now I had a look at the back because I, as I said, like looking at the back of things uh, or at the publication information. And this is a 2017 uh, Japanese title that was printed in English in 2019 by Denpa, which is of course Kuma as well. And what they have at the back is just the publishing team and they don't assign roles or anything like that. They just have the team. So you can say, hey, these are all the people who made it. And of course, I can see Jocelyn Allen's name in there. So I'm like, oh, well, I know what her job was. She's the translator. So I was very happy about that. I always love reading anything that Jocelyn Allen translates. So I was very excited about reading this one. Now, as you can see from the title, a cover it's very cute it's pink it's um fun and entertaining it definitely has that impression straight away so i was excited about it um the story is about suzuki who is very plain and boring and a huge uh, idol otaku and his love for misaki hayakawa who is a boy in his class who is a secret idol otaku and their relationship together. It turns out that Suzuki is a um, cross-dressing net idol, uh, Rumepi, and it does singing but no one's seen Rumepi. So um, it's quite an interesting premise straight off the bat. Um, they are so cute together. Um, there is 
no censorship. I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, so I was looking, going, where, where is the, um, where is the like parental guidance? No, Kuma, don't bother with that. They're like, you know what you're buying. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, yes, yes for that. It does seem mature in the back, but that's it. I mean, seriously, other than the big words of seme on the front, it is a little bit, you know, dangerous. I think there's quite a few people who would go, oh, this looks dead cute. I want to read this and then go, whoa, that was not what I was expecting. Um, and I'm actually kind of in, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. <laughs> so yeah, um, there is no censorship. It is full on dicks out. And I love it. it. The artwork is lovely. It's very sweet. It's very of a particular style. Um... I, I really like it. I love the artwork. It's really nice. And it's kind of interesting because she does have a very small uh, mini story at the back. That's one of her like earlier works. And the art style is slightly different. And that's pretty full on too. I gotta say, I really enjoyed this. This was really fun. The dynamic between the two main characters. Um, obviously, they kind of give it away a bit about who's in what role. But I actually really like that. Um, and I love the little note at the back by the author. So the artwork's great. The story is quite nice and cute. It's it's not completely 100% standard and how, as you would expect. There's a few little things that you're like, oh, that was good. Or, oh, I liked how they did that. Especially I liked how when Hayakawa had to come out to his friends as an idol otaku they were very accepting and in the end very um supportive so i really liked that i liked how kind of just matter of fact it was um i do have to say that if i wasn't doing this as a festive treat uh suzuki would probably be on the naughty list for what he did to hayakawa that first time mm -hmm. i think so <laughs> but I've gone with festive treat anyway. Um, I really enjoyed this. Kuma have, what I have to say is, a fantastic quality. This is good quality. This is lovely. I f it has a nice weight to it. The quality of the paper is good. The quality of the printing is excellent. I love the um, cover. And I like how there's a little something something underneath the cover. I really enjoyed all little things about it. There was especially a little bit when they had um, the friends and the one of the characters is a gyaru and she was just really funny as well. She didn't say anything but she she made me laugh. It was just all in all a really good title and I now know a lot of people who have been um, buying the yaoi crates got a copy of this. Was it last month? So there'll be a lot of people out there who will have got this and will probably have already read it or be planning on reading it and it would be really great to hear what you have to say on it. If you were surprised about how much it was like, um, <laughs> in Britain we have this kind of thing like um, taps half weather and it's getting your tits out and stuff. It was like getting your dicks out. It's basically that. There's a lot of that. I'm not mad at it at all. It was, it was good. It kind of had that old-fashioned feel of, ah, this is one of these old BLs, when when there's no, you know, lightsabers or black, <laughs> black marks or anything. It's just there, all hanging out, for sure. I was quite happy about it. So thank you, Kuma. And uh, it does make me think. Yes, I will. Um, look out for more of their work and I will try to support them because I know they're not a huge um, company and they're certainly not um, they don't have loads out in when it comes to BL but if this is the quality work that they're producing any anything that has Jocelyn Allen's name on it I'm going to be a supporter of anyway um, but yeah thank you very much Wakoko Wako and Kuma Publishing for this really interesting entertaining work I enjoyed it a lot so yeah, I wonder what I'll read for tomorrow. <laughs> if you've read, can an otaku like me really be an idol? 
um, I'd really like to know your thoughts. If you've got it or if you're planning on getting it, let me know as well. And um, what are their other works? Kuma's other works? What should I get? Um, that's kind of what I want to know. So, uh, yeah, take care, guys. And remember, every day is a VL day. I remember today. I remembered. <laughs>